and gentlemen, please welcome up to the stage, Miss Mel Take you everywhere with me, but my car is very small. So, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mel Jones, and here I stand before you and you lovely people at home. Behold. <laughs> I just showed you my best side. So, ladies, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I am a single mother from the Cape Flats, and the beautiful thing about being a single mother is you get to raise a person all on your own. The terrible thing about being a single mother is that you are to blame for... <laughs> My son's in the audience laughing the loudest <laughs> at the moment, taking no responsibility for his actions whatsoever. So yes, so I am a single mother and I, I, when you see my son, a lot of people look at him and they see me and they go, yes, I can see, there's so much of a resemblance, I can see, he's got your eyes, he's got you, but he does have some of, some of his father's traits, I mean, he's got my crazy wit, but then he also does have some of the things like from his father, like I look at him and I go like, oh, you drink so, oh no, that's also me, that also, <laughs> sorry, wait, I'll find... I'll find something. I'll, oh, wait, wait. There was this one time. One morning I woke up and I was looking for him. And I called him. I called him. I called out his name. I won't say his name just in case uh, he's wanted. So I just <laughs> called his name and I called his name and I, he wasn't answering. So I went downstairs to his room. I didn't want to. T I just wanted you to know that we have an upstairs and a downstairs. So. <laughs> So I went downstairs, went to go look for him, couldn't find him anywhere. And I called, I called, I went, looked around the whole house, couldn't find him anywhere. And I was like, ah, he's gone. Eh, get that from your daddy. So <laughs> I'm a single mother. I say this because I have uh, completely lost all of my Tinder um, options. So now that I'm speaking to the nation, I'm saying I'm single because I'm broadening my uh, prospects. But my friend said, you know, you must you must keep to it. You don't even know where you must go. You can meet people in the strangest places and maybe you must try hiking. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, yeah, but that's exercise. <laughs> and so... <laughs> I don't do that. The problem is if you meet someone while you're exercising, then they're going to expect you to do that again. And that's like a once-off thing for me. I'm not going to be doing that. People like this exercise thing. People like enjoy this, this whole, like, let's get fit thing. That's not for everybody. So I don't do that. And people, people like eating healthily. People want to eat um, things like kale. I'm not a fan. Can we stop making kale a thing? <laughs> Guys, people are so excited. Kale is so amazing. It's a superfood. If it's a superfood, then put a cape on it and tell it to bugger off. I'm not interested. <laughs> if kale is so amazing, then why is no one getting drunk and then going to a petrol station and looking for a kale pie? Oh, it's a kale pie. <laughs> no one goes, ooh, like a kale pie in my room. My name is Mel Jones. Have a lovely time.